solve for x, y, thirds, x factorial, y factorial equals x factorial plus y factorial plus z factorial x, y, thirds are positive integers. This is the given equation. Note that x, y are symmetrical without loss of generality. We assume that x is greater than or equal to y. Now we divide equation one by y factorial, and we can now write x factorial equals x factorial over y factorial plus one plus z factorial over y factorial because x is greater than or equal to y, so x factorial over y factorial is an integer. Then z factorial over y factorial must be an integer, so z must be greater than or equal to y because x factorial over y factorial is greater than or equal to 1. z factorial over y factorial is greater than or equal to 1. So from equation 2, we can see that x factorial is greater than or equal to 3, which means x must be greater than or equal to 3. So x factorial is even, which implies 1 of x factorial over y factorial, z factorial over y factorial must be even, and the other must be odds. This can be seen from equation 2. Case 1, x factorial over y factorial is odds. z factorial over y factorial is even because x factorial over y factorial is odds, so x minus y is less than or equal to 1. Otherwise, x times x minus 1 times so on times y plus 1 is even as the product of any three consecutive numbers must be even, which implies x factorial over y factorial is even. This is a contradiction. So x minus 1 must be less than or equal to 1 because x is greater than or equal to y and x is less than or equal to y plus 1. So either x equals y or x equals y plus 1. Case 1.1, 1 .1, x equals y. Then equation 2 becomes x factorial equals 2 plus z factorial over x factorial. We know that x is greater than or equal to 3 when x equals 3, y equals 3 as x equals y. We substitute x equals 3, y equals 3 in equation 3. We find that z factorial equals 6 minus 2 times 3 factorial, which is 4 factorial. Thus, z equals 4. So, x, y, z equals 3, 3, 4. When x is greater than 3, then 3 divides x factorial because 3 doesn't 
divides Z factorial over X factorial, which can be seen from equation three. So Z minus X is less than or equal to two. Otherwise, Z factorial over X factorial equals Z times Z minus one times Z minus two times so on is divisible by three because the product of any three consecutive numbers must be divisible by three. Since Z minus X is less than or equal to two, so Z can equal X or X plus one or X plus two if Z equals X, then equation three becomes X factorial equals three. If Z equals X plus one, then equation three becomes X factorial equals X plus three. If Z equals X plus two, then X factorial equals X squared plus three X plus four. Equations four, five, six have no solutions. Case 1.2 X equals Y plus one. Then equation two becomes Y plus one factorial equals Y plus two plus Z factorial over Y factorial. We know that Z is greater than or equal to Y. When Z equals Y, then equation seven becomes Y plus one factorial equals Y plus three. Clearly, Y equals one isn't a solution of equation eight. When Y is greater than one, then Y plus one factorial is always greater than Y plus three. So equation eight has no solutions. When Z is greater than or equal to Y plus one, then Y plus one divides Z factorial over Y factorial because Y plus one divides Y plus one factorial. Y plus one doesn't divide Y plus two. So equation seven has no solutions. Case two, X factorial over Y factorial is even. Z factorial over Y factorial is odd because Z factorial over Y factorial is odd. So, as explained earlier, Z minus Y is less than or equal to 1 because Y is less than or equal to Z is less than or equal to Y plus 1. So, Z equals Y or Z equals Y plus 1. Case 2.1 Zard equals y, then equation two becomes x factorial equals x factorial over y factorial plus two. By rearranging this equation, we can now write x factorial over y factorial times y factorial minus one equals two, because x factorial over y factorial and y factorial minus one are integers. So y factorial minus one can't equal two as y factorial can't equal three. So x factorial over y factorial equals two and y factorial minus 
1 equals 1 from y factorial minus 1 equals 1. We find that y equals 2 from x factorial over y factorial equals 2. We find that x factorial equals 4, which has no solutions. Case 2.2 that equals y plus 1. Then the given equation becomes x factorial y factorial equals x factorial plus y factorial plus y plus 1 factorial. By rearranging the equation, we can now write x factorial times y factorial minus 1 equals y plus 2 times y factorial because the greatest common divisor of y factorial minus 1 and y factorial equals 1. So y factorial minus 1 divides y plus 2, which means y equals 3. Then that equals y plus 1, which is 4. This is a contradiction to that factorial over y factorial is odd. Hence, x, y, dot equals 3, 3, 4 is the unique solution.